what's going on guys um, I decided not to shoot today because um, you know I, was, I, was, I came here to pick up my firearm and um, you know I saw that there was a long line outside so I was like you know what let me just pick up uh, my firearm and I'll just come back another day okay so we're gonna have to continue this uh, FN uh, you know uh, first shots uh, some other time uh, it's gonna come trust me but the reason why I didn't do that while I was picking up my firearm I saw a family come in you know and um, you know like everybody they wanted to shoot and um, but they had no experience okay and I, I was just watching the conversation they were having with you know the attendant up at the front and um, you know they had a young man there with him he was probably like around uh, you know 15 years old or whatever and um, <clears throat> he said that he wasn't going to shoot because he didn't have anybody with him. He didn't want to shoot the firearm on his own. Uh, the person that was supposed to accompany him didn't show up. So it was supposed to be four people, only three people showed up. So I volunteered. I was like, you know, I could show him. I could be with him and um, help him uh, learn how to shoot. And, you know, he had some experience uh, when we got in there. Um, he actually did well. Um, I think that was his parents. We're going to say that 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 was his pa his parents or like aunt and uncle. All right. Um, so I also went over there to the other lane to help them um, just give them some pointers as well. I just volunteered. I didn't like what I was witnessing there. Um, so I just had to volunteer and just help them out. And I, I encourage you guys to like, you know, don't intrude. Um, just you can ask, hey, you guys need help then you go ahead and you help those individuals okay guys so just be sure when you see something you know say something volunteer this is what's going to curve some of the accidents we got a lot of new shooters coming to shoot and they need need help all right guys so go ahead and volunteer your services and make sure that everybody's safe What's going on guys? So we're going to take a closer look at the 509 Compact. So right here you can see that it has co-witness sights so they sit really really high. And I think that's good because if your red dot should ever fail you'll still be able to take those effective shots when you need it. And the fact that they're blacked out it won't take away from that red dot distract your you know your eye switching back and forth and trying to figure out what you're seeing okay so I'm messing with the firearm here I'm inserting the magazine you can see that it has a rail on it um, I'm thinking about doing a TLR 7 or 8 okay so that's the one with the uh, pinky extender so that's giving you a lot more versatility for concealed carry it's a little bit more comfortable but I really love this magazine right here it gives you that full grip okay so talking about the grip this is why I think they still call it a compact and not a subcompact okay and more on the grip that texture is amazing this is what really turned me on to the pistol and then also I didn't think I was gonna like a firearm with no finger grooves because I'm moving from the uh, Gen 4 Glock 19 and it has finger grooves but now with no finger grooves I feel that it's, it has a custom fit for me okay so you can see me try, trying to tug on that sleeve and it's not moving guys great quality and it's a great feature as well can't say the same thing for the Smith & Wesson uh, MMP shield on the secondary magazine that sleeve moves and it could be an issue when you want to reload if you're trying to stop the threat so keep that in mind for the shield people but for the five point, uh, 509 it is solid 
so that it's not a, an issue and I'm going to carry that one as my primary um, magazine in my firearm okay so I'm just actioning the trigger and getting used to it I feel those serrations on the side very deep serrations very easy to pull back on that slide um, I'm definitely gonna let a few um, uh, students try it out um, I'm typically not going to do that. That's one of the issues that I had with my Glock 19 that my students were I used, you know, I let them try that out too much. So this is my primary personal firearm, but I want to see how they feel about that slide being able to rack that slide back. Okay. Um, so you can see here, um, I have the plates in my um, hand and it comes with multiple plates. So all your major manufacturers or companies that deal with red dots you should be able to support um, this kit right here would be able to support that so you got versatility so that in itself the gun pays for itself you don't have to switch your gun to be able to get a new red dot or whatever I love that so I'm just going through the, the different things that it come with so here we have the lock I have a lot of those by the way and also we have the manual I gotta say guys the manual is kind of nice I think they're leading the industry on manuals and I think I'll be able to learn how to take that gun down without having to go on YouTube okay so you know got your warranty and all that other stuff and then one of the most important things here because we know we like to get to the range we like to set everything up and move quick we got that quick reference guide on how to mount the optic and I love that we don't want to take time guys you know how we are we want to set it and forget it because we take enough time already as it is lugging that stuff around and equipment and cleaning and all this other stuff we like to move fast okay so um, you're going to see, I, I'm going to show you guys a $20 bill, okay? The $20 bill came from helping that family. You heard the story in the beginning. There's a $20 bill. I wasn't expecting anything from it. I just felt that I needed to say something. That's the other um, back strap for it, the smaller one. But I wasn't expecting anything from um, helping them. It's just something that I felt I needed to do. Um, this is what we should, we're supposed to do, and I'm glad I did it, guys. So, on that note, it is a great firearm. I look forward to sharing my experience with you, my first mag. So, remember, be hard to kill and never die.